Good evening, YouTubers. It's been a great day here in Shoreham, and it's time to be uh, heading back to uh, to Manston in Kent. It took us about 20 minutes to get down here, so it probably won't take us much longer to get back. So, runway lights are coming on now. I'm hoping, just check the brakes, I'm hoping just to make it back in time for uh, before the sunset. We'll see. Okay, we've got a six knot tailwind at the moment. That's nothing, that'll be a crosswind from the right. And we can't really go straight back to Manston because we've got Gatwick's zone just to the north of Shoreham, which uh, we can't infringe really, unless we talk to them. And we're not gonna do that, we're gonna uh, stay out of the way. Here we can go up to 5,500 feet, I believe, before we are invading airspace. Bravo 1, ready for departure. Okay, so we're lining up now on the runway and we are just gonna go, go boom, and we're gonna uh, hit it back to Manston. Obviously I'll be checking the approach at this point, but uh, for some reason I'm not looking around. <laughs> okay holding on the brakes, full and free movement, power, power is increasing, afterburner will kick in any second, there we go, uh, come on, let's look where we're going, back pressure and we're off gear, up, look at that, that's wicked isn't it, up the Ada. go too far north we'll be finished up in Gatwick so we don't want to do that around the uh, cement works and we'll follow the downs this is the south downs follow the south downs along the northern edge Devil's Dyke I think just here There's sunny Brighton in the distance. It's better, it's quieting down a bit now. Like trim, 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 trim. Got a four, 450, that's about right. That's good. Try and balance that out. So we can't go any, any further north is off to my left there. Oh, we can we can do it. Gatwick's over there somewhere, so we need to sort of hug the coastline which is over there. No, it's not working again there. So I'm hoping to maintain four fifty, something like that. Following the South Downs. We've got Lewis in the distance there, those lights you can see the town. Lewis. Trim, trim, trim. This is where Fiona used to live when she was young. Lewis. Next to the castle. There's a railway line going to Eastbourne. This is the uh, the road going to Eastbourne. But if we just follow the north edge of the downs, that will be Eastbourne in the distance and the coastline. And again, we'll follow the coast because we can't go north. We don't want to infringe on Gatwick so follow the, uh, we'll go back pretty much the way we came except we're not routing directly along the coast. Nineteen thirty four GMT. 
that's about right because the time here in Spain at the moment is 21.34 so that's two hours ahead local time pick up my GMT watch tomorrow I've got a GMT watch coming which I'm going to experiment with for my new uh, pilot's watch wind turbines this is coming in so we've got Eastbourne on my right Four seven nine, everything's looking good. area now. Should have the coast off to my right. Up ahead we've got Hastings, Bexhill, that sort of area. So I'll follow the ridge. There's a ridge, there's any battle abbeys on the top of this ridge somewhere overlooking Hastings. I guess this is Hastings we're coming up to now. Other side we've got Rye and then it drops down onto the uh, the marshes. Over towards Lid, I think this is Rye on the end here somewhere. Loads of history, you know. If you're into history and looking at old buildings and things, we stayed at a pub in Rye called the Mermaid, I believe. Just past it, heading down towards Lid now. I keep turning my head to look left and right, and there's nothing happening because I'm not in VR. There's a wet bit. That could be right actually. Without looking at the map I couldn't tell you. So heading straight for Lid. Romney Marshes, that's what it's called, I don't remember now. Remember any wind turbines there, but there's clearly wind turbines there now. Power station off to our off to our right there. On the tip. And again we should be seeing right uh, Lid Airport. I think it's in our one o'clock position, the flashing light there. Yep. Let's just go overhead lid. There's the runways. We'll turn for Dover now. Dover on the nose. The sun hasn't quite gone down yet. Not a bad picture though, it gets HD I think. I was looking at the earlier recordings and it's 1080, I don't really know that we need that much but that's not bad is it? Okay looking at the wind at the moment is 03416 knots. So I'm probably going to come in from this end at Manston if it 
continues. Let's have a look, see if we recognise anywhere. I think that's Dover coming up. That's Dover. So we could follow the coast around to Manchester or we could cut the corner off. See Rygate showing up there now. Four sixty wind zero three seven fifteen knots. Well, that was creepy. Okay, bring the power back. Okay, throttles are closed. Manston long finals, uh, Red Hawk. Should be here somewhere. Not visual. Uh, I'm looking and I'm not seeing. I can see the main road. I think I've got it, I think I've got it, yeah. Okay, air brakes, air brakes extended. 26, 25, 24, gear, gear in transit, I hope. It's making noises, but it didn't. Ah, there we go, three reds. So it is in transit. Gears down, three greens. Red Dog, you clear to land, wind 03715 knots. Clear to land, Red Hawk. Looking for 140 for touchdown and taxi to the Baron Flying Club. Definitely wheels dialed down and locked. That's the main thing. Going a bit slow, need to speed up a little bit. See, 120. We need to really be touching down at 140. So we've got a trickle of power in there now. Still at 129, still a little bit slow, but I don't really want to go any slower. Keep it coming, keep it coming. Keep it coming. 0 0.56, 14 knots. Slight, ever so slight crosswind from the left. Okay, kick it straight, flare, and chop the power. We have arrived. Welcome back to Manston in K. 
Kent. And we made it back before it went dark. Huge long runway at Manston. If you, if you finish up going off the end of the runway at Manston, it really is time to hang up your wings because uh, <laughs> runways don't come much longer than Manston. Manston is an impressive runway length, and as such, it should really reopen because it's in ideally situated for flights to the continent. It doesn't get much better than Manston, in fact. It really doesn't. Okay, here we are, back. It's the Baron Flying Club. Just testing the brakes there. Could always turn off onto the grass if I had brake failure. You've got to think of these things. Don't go screaming up and then break at the last minute, and then the brakes that don't work, and you go crashing through the hangar doors. That would be embarrassing. So, thanks for joining me once again, and welcome back to Manston in Kent in the T7A Red Hawk, which is the fast jet trainer, the latest and best fast jet trainer known to man. The American Air Force is gearing up for it. Okay, so let's have the canopy open. Get some air. Oh, right. Fuel. Fuel can go. Generator can go off first. Avionics can go off. Turn the fuel off. And finally, the battery. And that's it. We are done. Off and off. Let's. Outside. It's time to get the barbecue on and uh, get the beers out, I think. That is super cool. I love that aeroplane. That is the best trainer in the world. It really is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.